Alright, so this video will demonstrate how we should uh, do a pendulum experiment during our O-level physics practical test. Okay, so whenever we are dealing with this uh, pendulum experiment, uh, very one thing to note is that, that when we measure the length of the string, it must be from the top to the center of mass of the pendulum. Okay, so as you can see, it's 20.0 centimeter. So you must record 20.0 centimeter inside your ta uh, table. Okay. And another thing to take note is that uh, when we are trying to oscillate the pendulum, uh, do not displace at such a large angle. Because when you do this, uh, this will cause your pendulum oscillation to be very unstable. Okay, so uh, alright, so maybe let's get started. Okay, so this is a stopwatch. Uh, another third thing to note, uh, uh, when we measure the length of this string, okay, because uh, this is simulation, uh, so uh, it's not very realistic. But when we are doing in real life, right, uh, very important is that uh, our meter rule, in order to measure the length of the string, in, in order for the meter rule to be vertical, uh, you must clamp this meter rule in the retort stand uh, so that it can be vertical. Right? Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so uh, yeah, so maybe I just displace it to around 30 degree like that. Right? Okay. So, okay, so let it oscillate first. Let it stabilize, then after that I will start the stopwatch and I will uh let it oscillate for 20 times. Huh? Okay, so maybe let's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Uh, so it's about eighteen point two nine second. So you just roughly uh, record it down in the table. Okay, so let's do it for the second time because we must always uh, beat your length or your timing. Timing is the most important one because timing you need to repeat the experiment minimally two times. Uh, Alright, we start the stopwatch then I uh, displace it again. Okay, let it oscillate for, to stabilize. And after that, one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Uh, so it's about 18.17 seconds. So let me just record it down. 18.17 seconds. Okay, now we move on to 25 cm. So this is the first set where I will vary my length of the string from 20 cm to 45 cm. So let me just vary. Four, five. Okay, 25 cm. Alright. Same repeat experiment. Eh? Okay, I mean this is second data really. Okay, so let it oscillate. Hmm. Stabilize. Then after that we start the stopwatch. One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Mm. So it's about 20.39 seconds. So you record it down as 20.39 seconds. Okay, so now we... Uh, repeat our 25.0 centimeter uh, oscillation. Okay. okay, stabilize. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And so it's about 20.37. Yep. So record it down. Okay, so now we have two uh, T1 and T2 already. So now we increase another 5 centimeter. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so we start my stopwatch. Okay, let it oscillate first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So it's about twenty two point three four. This for thirty centimeter one. So we record it down. Twenty two point three four. Okay. So we re repeat the experiment for the thirty centimeter one. Okay. Let me just restart my stopwatch first. Okay. Stabilize. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Uh, so it's about twenty two point four zero. Mm, record it there. Okay, so now thirty centimeter is done. So now let's go to thirty five centimeter. So now we uh, we start my stopwatch again. So let's uh, start. Okay, let it stabilize first. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Mm. So it's about 24.20 for 35.0 second, uh, 25.0 centimeter. So it's 24.20. Okay. All right, so now we uh, repeat this experiment again. So start. Okay. Stabilize. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Mm. So it's around twenty four point two three seconds. Okay, so yeah, we are done with the 35 centimeter. So let's move on to 40 centimeter. Mm, right? Okay. So you can see as I increase the length, the timing uh, increases as well. Right? Uh, so let's. Okay, 40 centimeter, huh, this one. Mm, okay. Let it stabilize. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Mm. So it's about twenty five point eight eight seconds. Right, so now repeat the experiment one more time. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So it's about 25.99 seconds. Alright, so we are going to the last set, which is 45 centimeter. So let's try. Okay, so start my stopwatch. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Mm, so it's about twenty seven point four nine seconds. Alright, so let's repeat the experiment for four, uh, 45.0 uh, centimeter. Okay, let's display it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Mm, so it's about 27.36 seconds. Mm. Alright, so I've completed my uh, six data set. Uh, so, okay, whenever we are trying to measure the uh, so-called uh, pendulum, right, it's very important to know where we start and stop. Okay, Normally, I will just start at the left-hand side and I stop because one oscillation is one complete. So, I start at the left, I must end at the end, right? So, that is one complete oscillation. Uh, so, why do I need to do that? Why, do I, why don't I just uh, start at the so-called, uh, maybe I start at the center, then I stop at the center. Uh, this is because, uh, because at the center, my speed of the pendulum is quite high. So it's very difficult to uh, to catch the thing, to stop the stopwatch, right? Because the speed of the pendulum is very high. So at the side, right, be it your left-hand side or the right-hand side, at the amplitude, right, the speed of the pendulum is stationarily, is at rest instantaneously. So it's easy to, you know, to see the position of the pendulum, right? So that's why I st uh, start at the... Uh, amplitude and stop at the amplitude. 